lead code question is called find the difference. It says given two strings S and T, which consist of only lowercase letters, string T is generated by randomly shuffling string S and then adding one more letter at a random position. Find the letter that was added in T. So the example they give us, the first string is A, B, C, D, and the second string is A, B, C, D, E, and the output is E because E is the string that was added to the first string. All right, the way we can solve this problem is by looping over the first string and adding the frequencies of each character to a map. It'll look something like this. We'll have a map, and right now the map is empty because we haven't added any characters to it. What we're going to do is we're going to loop over every character in the string. So you start with the letter A. Is that in the map? No, it's not. So you add it with a frequency of 1 because we've only seen it one time so far. You move on to the next letter. Is this in the map? No, it's not. So we add it with a frequency of 1 since it's the first time we're seeing it. Then you move on to the last character. Have we seen this in the map before? Yes, we have. We've seen it with a frequency of 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase that frequency by one more, indicating that we've seen it now two times. So now when we're given a character that we want to find the difference for, let's say A, B, B, A, we're going to view the map up here as a kind of a bucket that we're able to take letters from. We can loop over every letter in the second string and see if there are any of those letters available in the map that we can use. It'll look something like this. We'll look at the letter A. Are there any A's available in the map? Yes, there are. So what we're going to do is, since we're going to use it, we'll decrease it by one. Then you move on to the next one. Are there any B's available in the map? Yes, there are. There is one. So we're going to use that, change that to zero. Now we get to the second B. Are there any B's available in the map? No, there aren't. There are zero B's available. So now we know that B is the letter that's different. All right, so let's get to the code. What lead code has given us is a function called find the difference, which accepts two parameters, S and T. S is one string. T is the string that might have one more character than the string S. All right, so remember the first thing we have to do is we have to create a map. In this case, we'll just use a simple object. So let frequencies equal a simple object. We'll have that like here, frequencies. And let's pretend that the string is A, B, A. So now what we have to do is we have to loop over every character in that string. So for the character of S. Now we're gonna check if that character is in the frequencies map. So we'll say if frequencies character is undefined. So if we have not seen it before, what do we have to do? We have to add it to the map. So frequencies character equals one. We're adding it with a frequency of one. That will look like this. A one. And since we're done with that loop, we go on to the next character, which is the character B. We'll check on line 10 if we've seen it before, and we have not. So according to line 11, we have to add it to the frequencies map with a frequency of 1. Then we go on to the next character, the character A. We check again, have we seen it before? Yes, we have. So now we have to add an else statement. So since we have seen it before, what we need to do is we just have to increment its frequency in the map by one. That'll look like this. All right, so now we're completely done with that for loop because we've looped over every character in that string. So now what we have to do is we have to loop over every character in the second string to see if there's a difference. The second string, let's say, is A, B, B, A. So again, we'll say for let character of T 
Now we're going to check, is this in the frequency map? So we'll say if frequencies character doesn't equal undefined. So this first check is seeing if it's there at all. If it's not there at all, what do we have to do? We'll just return that character because it's the first time we're seeing it. And that would be the difference. But if it's not undefined, so we have seen it, we also have to see if we're able to decrement it from the frequency map. So we'll say if it's in the frequency map and the frequency is greater than zero, so frequencies of this character is greater than zero, then we're able to decrease it by one from the map. All right, so how would that work with our current string ABBA? We'll start with the letter A. We'll check if it's in the frequency map. Yes, it is. And I just realized that I need to add the letter I here. And is the frequency greater than zero? Yes, it is. So what we're gonna do is decrement that from the number two to the number one. Next character is the character B. We check if that's in the frequency map. Yes, it is. So then we decrement that by one. Next character is the character B again. We check if it's in the frequency map. Yes, it is. But is the frequency greater than zero? No, it's not. It is zero. So we don't have any to remove. So now we know that this letter B is the difference. So what will happen is that it will go into line 21 and it will return this character, the character B. But let's say all of the characters were the same. That means we will have looped over both of the strings and determined there's no difference. All we'd have to do is return negative one. All right, let's run the code, see how we did. Missed another letter I. Looks good, submit. All right, so our solution was faster than about 99% of other JavaScript submissions. As usual, the code and written explanation are linked down below. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. See you next time.